Alright, so, uh, we are back with more Claptrap. Uh, I think this is going to be the last video from the giant boss rush. Um, essentially this DLC is sort of like a uh, ribbon, you know, like, to tie up the rest of the entire game. Uh, it's just a giant boss rush, like every Final Fantasy, <laughs> pretty much, uh, just like any Square Enix game it feels like. Um, you corporate pawns you, truly think you can defeat the combined might of a planet full of freeware freedom fighters? No oh, there's puppies that are free? And candy? Then come! Come and face the full wrath of the revolution! Round two, fight! Okay, so. Uh, this begins the boss rush. Guess who it is? It's General Knox. Again. So I'm trying to like uh, do burst fire with that, uh, so I would save ammo and be able to hit him, get as many headshots as I can. Um, he overshot anyway. <laughs> the one time I don't actually shoot him, he overshoots anyway. So and this is pretty much the exact same fight as every other general knocks fight we've had, except now he jumps uh, closer to us and does a ground slam. And, of course, if I had heard, there were clap traps. And not just any clap traps, but kamikaze clap traps. And you're thinking, well, what's so bad about that? Well, it spawns like two, three of them, you know. And if both of them hit, they pretty much, like, one will take off your shield. And the second one will take out, like, most of your health. Um, and if they spawn, like, more than three or four, and you let all four hit you, then you're pretty much just dead. Which makes it a little harder. Uh, the General Ox fight is so easy. Uh, this is the third time we've had to fight this guy over the course of two DLCs. So we, we know how to kill him, just get fucking headshots and win. Um, but Kamikaze Cloud Traps make it a little harder um, because they can blow up and they do a lot of damage. Um, I mean, if you get hit by that and then a Kamikaze, like I do relatively soon. I should have gone invisible. Should have just gone invisible. And now there's no more clap traps, which sucks. And I'm not gonna be able to kill him in like that amount of time. So unfortunately, we have to do this fight enti entirely over again. This is out of the f what four boss fights I have to do. This one is the hardest for whatever reason. Um, like I don't I don't have a good reason why this is the hardest fight besides clap traps. The Claptrap Kamikazes. Uh, we've already fought like every other boss besides one throughout the uh, DLC and throughout the main game itself, but this fight always gets harder because I keep trying to make it like make it more difficult than this. <laughs> I guess they're like maybe we shouldn't just make him have one giant critical spot and have people abuse that fact. But now I heard the Claptraps and I heard that they were actually coming. So I decided to book it. Um, I don't think I die. At least. I might. Uh, but yeah, kamikaze suck poop. And I don't know what the fire, the reason for the fire is. Uh, if you saw it earlier, there was a dial that turned on fire. Uh, I'm not really sure why it's there. But the the major purpose, if all I can do is that, uh, and be good. But. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they should have done something really cool with this fight. They gave him a giant ass mech. They they hype up his fight so many times, and all you have to do is just shoot him in the head a few times, and then you win. Like there's not much else to this entire fight besides that. And the, I mean, they had to add clap trap, kamikaze clap traps, and uh, I think the first one they had is like bruisers and samurais. Um, but besides that, that's. There's n it's not really a fight, you just, I don't know, I wish there was more to General Knox than just this. Like, give him missiles that he fires every so often, or chain gun in one hand and the thunder in the other. Like, make me actually feel like I'm fighting a giant general, not just some guy who charges up his laser beam every five seconds. And I, all I need to do is get a headshot and he just straight up dies. Or doesn't fire his weapon in the first place. 
I think that's my major concern, is the fact that they, they've put so much emphasis on, uh, getting headshots. Oh, I do die. Do I kill him in time? I don't remember redoing this three times. Just twice. Uh, come on, come on. One more hit, one more hit. I guess I did die. Wow, I don't remember the second death. Well, that sucks. Um. <laughs> yes, that really does suck. I think now I was like, fuck it, I'll just run up and shoot him with my SMG. Yeah, but not only are we really overpowered, but General Ox in general just seems underwhelming. Like, there's not much else to this fight, like I've been saying. You just, you just shoot him in the head and he doesn't do anything. He's just a shooting target. I wish they could have done more for General Knox, because he's not only supposed to be a general of an entire army, he's supposed to be this giant, badass mech dude, uh, you know, and you just sort of shoot him in the face a few times. So I do think that's the the last time we see General Knox in general. And I did get all 100 parts, so... Oh, this is the last statue. Okay. Um, yeah. This one that just has binary code. That is the last statue out of the entire game, I think. So... That did a lot of damage. I didn't fucking realize that. So now, if you can see what's going on. So if you're understanding what's going to come up next, uh, after the uh, little targets you can shoot, we are going to be fighting Dr. Ned. I mean, it's not really a surprise since we've already fought him during the main game, as well as General Mox. Um, as well as sh they showed off the fact that there were zombies. But this one says that there's free something. Uh, I didn't read. I can't read. But it's a giant hole, and like every boss fight there is so far. Yeah, the only real boss fight that I ever have any problems with is General Knox. Besides that, the rest are relatively easy. I don't think I die ever again in this entire area. Except for maybe the last boss. But that one's always the hardest for. or second hardest. The fight with Nox is always so annoying with the clap traps. I mean, he does some some kamikazes, but it's like one at a time. And I think you could stop him from summoning by shooting him in the head. I don't know, critical spots in this game seem very overpowered, especially with some bosses. Um, like Nox. Who I feel bad for just killing him. Um, and then the game started glitching out a little. He, I think, went underground, but we, like, he could glitch and was appearing, so it's a little weird. Um, yeah, the other thing that really sucks about this boss is with his spin attack. Uh, when he, like, he spins around in circles and attacks you. Thanks for that. Um... <laughs> But yeah, uh, the only real trouble you can have with that boss is um, his spin attack, where he like uh, he ducks down a little and spins towards you, which gets a little annoying after a while. But it doesn't. It does do a little bit of damage if you like let the entire spin attack you. Um, and then there's this little section, which is pretty cool. So there's a bunch of zombies and uh, shooting targets that you can hit, um, which there is a reason for this. Don't worry. I don't think I'm just wasting ammo. Um, oh yeah, so, we got some more samurai with mohawks. I'm not sure I'm picking these up, I guess, just because they're <laughs> collectibles. Um, because I already got 100 pieces, and I think the next one's 120, which I have not done. Uh, I don't know if I would, if you guys want me to record <laughs> collecting pieces, but that seems really, really, really boring. Um, 
So if you're noticing, now it's a bunch of lens people and guardians. So the, the lights represent the uh, targets you shot. So yeah, next is going to be uh, the chick from the end of the game, uh, Steel. Uh, he pretty much already told you it was going to be a steal. Her fight's not that hard. Uh, I do buy a bunch of ammo because I was really low. I had like 400 out of 980. So, I mean, that doesn't sound like a... <laughs> that doesn't sound like a little amount, but... Uh, I was definitely low on SMG. I was like 481 out of 1260, so... Plus, I have $2 million, which doesn't really bother me. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I think I already have max SDUs and everything. I'm pretty much just maxed out with the best weapons I can, for the most part. I think I get another sniper rifle. But besides that, that's about it. So yeah, they're like, oh yeah, no boss, even though we can hear the chanting, and he's already made fun of the fact that the next boss has a hole. And it is going to be the fight with General, or Commander Steel, not General Steel. Uh, she's pretty much the exact same fight she's been throughout the entire game. I would have loved for them to like change uh, some of the the methods and things they do to the bosses to make it feel different, at least in a little bit. I mean, they are robots, so why don't they have like a robot attack? Or I don't know. They just feel like they brought back a bunch of characters that had died from the DLCs, from each DLC, and be like, oh yeah, remember these guys? They were so cool. Um, but that this is pretty much the entire fight. <laughs> she even just stands still at the end, just just to stare at me and be like, please just finish it off. Uh, it. So now we have to go take out uh, Claptrap after killing all the other bosses and a 12 minute boss rush. Um, it wouldn't be that long if it wasn't fucking for, you know... General Knox and all his crap. <laughs> I honestly hate that boss. The fight itself is not hard. It's the fucking claptrap units that are piss me off. I'm pretty sure I don't even look at that weapon. Like at this point, I'm just I just don't care about weapons. I might find more better weapons in the next playthrough, but that means I have to replay the entire game. And it's like, why don't I have good weapons now? Why do I have to replay the entire game in order to get better weapons? Even the orange weapons aren't that good. Like, come on. Game plus. I'm already maxed out on most of the ammo, so. I think now I'm probably trying to get all the SMG ammo. Ammo? Yeah. I'll be trying to max out on SMG ammo again. And now we are back at the beginning, and we should get a cutscene right about now from Marcus. Right now. Yeah. Hello, my friends. Hyperion asked me to transport you to even bigger, better planets once you are through dispatching that runny little ship. Exciting new worlds like Eden 6. This one time on Eden 6. There's Inca, the interpla interplanetary ninja assassin claptrap. Uh, if it took more than one shot, you weren't using it, Jacobs. So they do kill off Marcus, but then they bring him back because reasons. No, I wasn't programmed for direct combat. I also wasn't programmed to overuse air quotes. But obviously, I've grown beyond my programming, beyond my enslavement, and beyond my patience for your kind. Prepare to face the fury of mega interplanetary ninja assassin. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, <laughs> so. This is the last boss fight, and it is one of the hardest. Um, one, because there's not many places for you to dodge. Two, because it has a lot of firepower. Um, a lot of the, there's like seven or eight different turrets in one little section. Um, it, it gets really hard to fight at, at some points. Um, and I realize I can't actually swap weapons until... Uh, yeah. So I want to get the most, the highest damage weapon I can find. 
Um, and I said, fuck it, I'll take this one. <laughs> so the one thing that, that I don't like about this boss fight is that there's not a lot of space for you to hide. Um, he shoots rockets, he has tons of turrets, uh, and he only has one place where you can actually hit him, I'm fairly sure. Or at least Minka himself. And that is his eye. Uh, and it's really hard to, you know, fight this guy. Um, he has a bunch of claptrap units that come out as well. He's just he's just a pain. <laughs> because it's, it's like if you're fighting uh, General Knox, except instead of having uh, except having less space to fight. So the, what I was going to do is I was going to just hide behind this little area and shoot him with a rifle as many times as I can. Um, but it doesn't seem to be doing very much damage anyway. I don't know where this guy's critical spawn is. Uh, I honestly have no idea. I try to get some of the turrets, but the turrets are pretty much harder to hit because not only are they moving targets, um, they can like hide in a sense. So I said, fuck it, I'll just get my SMG out. And I do actually do a shit ton of damage really, really, really fast. Um, I forgot that there's claptrap units, so I just face walk over to another area where they aren't there. Um, yeah, like I said, there's not too many places to hide from his rockets, from his laser beams. It's it's just a... The only part about this fight is just trying to find somewhere to hide. And the Gatling turrets, I think you can kill them. I think I get one turret, uh, but that's about it. <laughs> I mean, they do give you some experience, and uh, that's about it, just experience. But it's hard to shoot the sniper rifle while getting attacked by like 12 different Gatling turrets because of the, uh, the knock up, knock back they, they do. Um, yes, yeah, so they are moving targets, which if I had like a team of people doing this with, I might find it easier if they can get, if we can all target different uh, turrets. But, but since I'm four levels higher than this guy, I can pretty much just do whatever I want. And there you go. That's the boss fight. Uh, but that's not the entire boss fight. It's not the entire boss fight. That's only part of it. The rest is I had to kill Claptrap. The actual Claptrap unit. Um, and all of his kamikazes. And then I have to find the actual Claptrap unit, which is right there. Um, I don't know, I'm pretty sure this E, this, uh, use button got glitched on my system. Uh, so, yeah, there you go, that's the boss fight. So we're decoding all the, uh, ninja assassin, <laughs> the planetary ninja assassin programming out of him, and we're sending him back to factory settings. I almost feel bad for this guy. Murder, almost. I almost feel bad for Club Trek there. And I think this is the same clap trap in the second game. I think. Um. Because I think after this DLC, all the other clap traps are dead. Uh, they've stopped production, so I think this is the only one that survives. And that is how it really happened. Except the part about me getting stood up by that crazy bitch. I just made that up to keep the ladies hanging around. Yeah, Marcus, you're a real ladies killer. Yeah, that is the DLC. Um, and we'll hit the wired device. Unbelievable! Just outstanding. You've quashed the rebellion, saved Pandora, and restored the good name of the Hyperion Corporation. Unfortunately, you've also voided that claptrap's warranty. So now you're stuck with it. However, 
There is still the matter of the reward you were promised. See, I think that's the same claptrap from the rest of the uh, second game. Um, he does mention that all the other claptrap units were killed, so I assume that it was because of this apocalypse. Um, but yeah, that's the entire DLC. Uh, oh, I guess I can talk over my, my thoughts of the DLC as we're getting our reward. Uh, so, for the most part, this game wasn't too bad. Uh, it did feel like there was a little too many uh, random collectathons. 150 more components um <laughs> you know there's 150 more components there's freaking bobblehead collections collecting meat and spices for someone to have a bad breakup you know there's a little too many clutathon side quests uh, for my liking but for the most part the the actual mission storyline was pretty cool um i did find it funny that collab trap you know was taking over the entire world but we didn't see much of that we just sort of saw like <gasps> One minute they were bandits, and the next they were bandit traps. There was nothing like, nothing we saw ourselves. Um, ah yes, so this is our payment. I suppose you've earned it, fairly. Here's a key to the Hyperion Corporate Gift Shop. You'll find your payment there. Um. Anyway, so we got another skill point, which I started putting there. You're not getting paid by the hour. Thank you, Mr. Blake. Anyway, so. I did feel like this DLC was sort of like a, uh, uh, little, I don't know, ribbon to put on top of the entire game. A sort of like homage to the rest of the entire game. It was like, oh look, remember this, remember fighting this boss, remember fighting that boss, remember fighting this boss, remember, remember this chick from that game, or from the, the main game, you know. I didn't feel like they offered too much. I thought they were just trying to like wrap up the Borderlands 1 experience, which isn't bad. I do feel that like, they've completely screwed up Nox and uh, all of his fights. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just feel like if you are not only a general of an entire army riding around in a freaking huge mech, you should at least do something besides just charging up a laser beam and shooting me. Um, I don't know. I just felt like it was underwhelming as all. Well. So Nox's fight wasn't the best. Uh, I wish they did more robot fights. I mean, I know they had the giant robot with the... Uh, at the end of the game, the Minka, uh, which was cool. Um, it, it's hard, but it was it was a cool idea. I just felt that like, if he was going to take over the world, he needed some massive robot that helped him. You know, like he needed to build a bigger robot to go around destroying everything. So it would be cool to have like a side boss where we fought this robot um, that actually had like like it was a I don't know a bigger version of Claptrap, not the Minka, but like another smaller. Smaller than that, bigger than Claptrap, that helped him go around. Like, his sort of, like, pet robot that does all the work for him. Um, I don't know. I just felt like there was a little too few robots in the robot game. Because uh, we, what, we fought bandit traps, we fought Hyperion traps, uh, I don't know. And a bunch of Claptrap units, which was pretty cool. But most of it was... Most of the, the the enemies in the game were pretty much the exact same from the, the first game. There was no real difference between a trap unit versus the regular unit, which I felt was kind of like a waste. Like you could have had like these cool additional things that they added to the person. Uh, like you could have had like a giant robot or uh, one of the bandits like have like a gun attached to their arm or like a like an energy weapon from one of them that shoots. That would have been cool, uh, but I don't know. I guess I get what I get. I don't know. They, it wasn't a bad deal. So I'm not like shit talking it, but um, they do run into the same problem they did in General Knox, where they give you a bunch of weapons, except this time you don't have a timer. Um, which, you know, if it had a better loot system, I wouldn't complain. The fact that General Knox had this giant, massive loot where you can just run around, pick up a bunch of weapons. But a lot of the weapons in general in this game feel underwhelming and kind of uh repetitive because like i'm level what 44 45 and i'm picking up a crap ton of whites some maybe occasional blues i get a f i got quite a few purple mods but uh i mean they are supposed to be the rarest and one of the, some of the better equipment i don't know i just feel like if they're going to have a better loot system in the in the game because General Knox, where you're like running around picking up everything you can, 
in a like a very short amount of time. Yes, it's cool, but you're picking up a bunch of crap that you aren't going to be using and you're just going to sell anyway. And there's not much to do with money. Like, I have three million dollars and I don't buy anything from any of the stores um, because nothing is actually better than the weapons or equipment that I have. So, I don't know. I just feel like they had so much thing, so many items and weapons and they didn't offer enough like decent good loot that made you go oh shit look at this they were just sort of repetitive in a way to the extent where it's like you litter the floor with, with weapons because you don't want to pick them up because you have a limited amount of space um, and this is another room where they offer a shit ton of weapon boxes uh, and most of this I will just probably leave I think I get a new sniper rifle that's about it um, but yeah, most of this, I just sort of, uh, walk around and be like, oh, look at all this ammo. Berserker. Uh, that's another thing I don't really understand. I mean, I understand why they would drop it, but, like, weapons for different classes drop in pretty much everyone's game. So I could be playing a siren and have, uh, oh, there's the new sniper rifle. Yep, there you go. It's pretty accurate. Um... So I think that's one weapon that out of the last three crates, four crates that I've looked in, that I was like, oh wow, that actually looks pretty good. Um, but that one's bad. Again, bad. Uh, yeah, so I wish they could have done more with the loot system in general. I mean, it's, it's an okay one, but all of these weapons, I could sit around and I could sell to the store. But there's no real point, there's no customization of cars, there's no, like, no reason for me to go out of my way and spend money on any of this. Because you would think, oh, well, there's a shop you can go buy stuff in. Well, the shop has the same loot system that this does. Okay, there's a second second item. But I was going to sell that because it's purple. <laughs> uh, so that's, like, two purples in this entire room full of loot. A lot of whites. A uh, lot of lose some greens I don't know don't know what that was about <laughs> I spazzed out there for a second I'm sorry uh, I paused okay I guess now I'm just gonna be talking so yeah uh, there's a lot of stuff in here a lot of loot problems that I've had uh, but besides that the story's cool the characters are pretty decent um, for an additional five dollars worth of content I think it is pretty well I mean, I don't expect them to, like, completely change the way the, uh, the loot system oh, is uh, in an entire update. Although, I don't know. Carry on. Diablo did it, so why not? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's about it. I think I go back and I look, and I just sell stuff, or I pause, I don't know. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I just don't actually need in this game. And they like giving me a lot of loot, and I like collecting a lot of loot. But when you limit the amount of space in your backpack, and when you don't give quality weapons to me like i know in uh diablo 3 they change the loot system where it's like it it changes the level it changes as you progress so you'll find more yellows more blues on um, the different level tees or different different difficulties um and better loot as you level up so you're not just collecting a bunch of shit uh whereas borderlands it just throws a bunch of stuff at you and you're just like okay there are gazillion weapons but I can only carry 42 of them, so let's carry the 42 best weapons I can. And that takes either a lot of time or you just start end up selling a lot of shit. And, I don't know. It gets it gets kind of annoying after a time. So if they're going to improve it, either give me a, a bigger backpack, like infinite spaces, or better loot system altogether. Um, the level system was pretty okay. I wish there was more skills uh, instead of just having one repetitive skill. Um... I like the the weapons that recharge ammo, the uh, Iridian, weapon, Iridian weapons, but uh, I don't like the recharge rate of the weapons, they're way too fucking slow. Um, so yeah, I do have a few missions left, I have the Claptrap, the Mop Up, the Cromax, and the Circle of Duty, but none of that, it's all repetitive gameplay, you know, running around in a circle killing things, uh, Cromax, I'm too under level 4 to do by myself, uh, collecting parts for Tannis and then killing a bunch of enemies over and over again. So I feel like there's a few too many of those kinds of missions in the DLCs. Like, overall. Overall, the DLCs. 
Um, I like the, the only one I really liked was the zombie one because it made you like, it said, you know, you have to get a critical point, you have to kill it with a critical hit uh, in order for it to drop a brain, in order to pick up the brain, uh, which I thought was cool, but because it made you, you know, it made you change the way you play. You try to aim 